Welcome to a new show called Uncensored and Untold. Um, this show is kind of like on the uh, lines of Kid Rocker, but it's just me uh, telling it like it is and just simply not holding back and telling some of the stories that I haven't been able to tell people in um, you know, not just the last six months, but six years. Um, so yeah, this is going to be um, a video that's probably going to get me into a lot of trouble. But to the people that I rubbish or, you know, say stuff about, go fuck yourself. If you're one of your, if, if you're one of my Facebook friends and offended, go fuck yourself. If it's my partner, definitely go fuck yourself. I'm going to tell it like it is. I'm going to hold back. I'm going to tell you that I'm deliberately making myself sick, as you can see in the fucking class there. It's not just Skittles in that V, just saying. And as you can see by like the little white thing, that doesn't look like a tablet, does it? Wait, it doesn't look like a Skittle, is what I was supposed to say, but anyway. Fuck. Um, let's start off with the, the most obvious fucking thing right now. Um, my partner is fucking being immature. She's been, um, not an adult. She's been a, a stuck-up little child, basically. Um, you know, all my female friends, you know, some of them are fucking bitches anyway, but they fucking told me, hey, Andre, your partner's a fucking bitch. And you've got to realise that. And, she, and you got to realise, Andre, that she's probably fucking other guys and she's probably fucking already another guy right now. Why can't you let it go and find someone else? And I tell him, well, I ain't a fucking coward. You know, I ain't a fucking guy that, you know, he's just going to give up on the fucking person he loves. As you can see by my post on my Facebook, you know, me and my partner, all photos there. I made a new post recently um, because there was fucking beautiful moments and... To these fucking stuck up women that are like, you know, you can do better than her, you can do better. Uh, number one, I don't want to do better than her because I love the fucking person of my life, you know. I just don't understand why she fucking can't grow up. I can't understand why the fuck that she wants to continue hurting me and not properly ending this. You know, I don't understand that about her. I don't understand why her fucking family are assholes to me. <clears throat> Definitely don't understand that. I don't understand why they can't themselves grow the fuck up and let my partner do what she wants in life and not have to blackmail her or put emotional bullshit on her. You see, like I've stated many fucking times, relationships are two people. And if you're too fucked in the head to let people influence what you want and you can't do, fuck off. Like, I have stupid fucking friends on Facebook that are like, you know... <coughs> Yeah, dump her fucking ass. You know, you don't need her. Go go find somebody else. Or, you know, she's a fucking slut, your girlfriend. Or, she's, she's a fucking bitch. And you know what I tell those motherfuckers? I, I basically, I fucking block them. I, I say something else, but then I fucking block them. Because at the end of the day, no one in this right world has a right to fucking say anything bad against somebody. And if you want to say something bad against somebody, set to their fucking face and see what happens. Now, I have been, you know, going through the wars all this time. Oh. And, um, I fucking hate my friends sometimes. If you're watching this on Facebook, I hate fucking some of you sometimes. I mean, a true friend would work out, hey, my friend's in trouble here. What can I do to help him? Or if I'm in trouble, if he's in trouble with his relationship, what can I do or say to help them both? A real friend does that. A real friend would fucking stick by you no matter what. Um, last time I checked when, you know, someone calls you a friend, but um, they're not on your Facebook, <coughs> they talk to you. On Messenger, but they don't add you on Facebook. That's not a fucking friend. A real friend would fucking add you. You know? I have three friends like that, and I, um... I only give a shit about one of them, actually. But, um, the other ones... And then there's people that are... The wrong sort of people I hang around with. The fucking low lives that, um... Don't want to better themselves in life. And I've blocked those motherfuckers already. 
Because I am in a situation where, you know, I'll never be fucking happy until this shit's over. I fucking want court. But at what cost? What fucking cost? Because my partner can still destroy me from her side, let her family fucking destroy me. That's fucked, man. My partner has destroyed my friendships with people. I can't even see my own family now. And you may think, well, why don't you see your own family? Because I can't face the music when they ask me what's happening with me and her. We had people come over there and I just couldn't even face the music. I just fucking just stayed in my room. And my parents were like, you, you stayed in your room all day. And I'm like, yeah. What's the problem? And I didn't tell them. Because it's like, I, I can't fucking face anyone anymore. And then they're asking me, oh, did, did my partner say something to me? Or did I um, hear something about my partner? I said, no, I just can't fucking get out of that bed to put out with the world right now. <clears throat> I fucking can't stand what my fucking partner's family's doing to me. They're fucking low-life sons of bitches that fucking, you know, can't let me and my partner sort things out. They have to put blackmail on her. And f coming from fucking a stepfather and a mother that fucking cheated... On my partner's rural dad Fuck off And they have a right to tell me what to do Then my partner lives with a stuck up selfish little bitch That fucking uh, Can't grow up herself And expects handouts from people Come on And that's my partner's environment You know There's one thing I respect about one of her uh, Sisters At least She did the right thing And went Alright I gotta find a house And me and my partner move in At least one of them did that at least one of them was mature. You know, I've said this from, from day one. I just don't understand why my partner can't grow up. If she lives the way she's living for the rest of her life, she's not going to be happy. She's not going to have her own independence. She's not going to have her own house. She's not going to have a license. She's not going to go traveling because she's not old enough to do it. She complains that her, her, her family treat her like she's a kid. Well, she's acting like a fucking kid. You know, I had to struggle for 11 years to be in a job which I didn't like. Which, you know, I had to get abuse from people. Physical, mental, um, racist remarks. And I stuck it out because I had to pay off a house. And motherfucking, it took me 11 years, but I paid off my motherfucking house all by myself. Furniture in the house all, all by myself. Water tank, septic tank, all by myself. Repairs on the house, all by myself. Because life's about growing up and not asking for handouts from your parents or living in a place that they provided. What, you pay 250 a week for a big deal. Big fucking deal. And you can't even keep the house clean. Like, I look at my partner and her sister and I think, you guys live like fucking pigs. Between two people, surely you can keep a house clean. It doesn't take much to fucking, you know, if you make a dish, wash it, put it away. It doesn't take long to, you know, if you put something in the bin, you know, put something in the bin or when it comes to clothes, once you get it off the line, fold it and put it straight in the drawers. But, but either of them can't even do that. You know, you walk in that house, the first thing you smell is this fucking scent that I, I hated going there, like, because I smelt that and I was like, <clears throat> number one, you need a fucking window open. But number two, you got three cats, possibly four now. That smell in the house is fucking strong. And you know what the worst thing is? I'd go into my partner's bedroom, all right? It wasn't the mess that pissed me off because I always cleaned up her room while she was doing her, her job. But the cats would just fucking like sit on the bed and, and like you'd see the sheets. Like even though they've got like a fucking um, special blanket on the end bed. That was fucking black with fur. And then you look at the sheets that came off the bed. It like sunk into the mattress. You know, animals should not be on the fucking bed. You'd think, you know, one cat's fair enough, but three or four, and all that hair is coming up into the air. It's going all over the bed. It's going all over the fucking room. And you're breathing in that shit. No wonder, no wonder why that house was fucking stinks. Look, I love my partner. And people are going to hate me for saying that. Because she's actually killing me, my partner. And you know what? You guys, my Facebook friends, you guys are fucking killing me too. You don't give a shit. Maybe one or two of you do that message me. To my new friend that we talk to at 5am in the morning. Thank you.
You're the only one <coughs> that's been there for me lately. And I thank you for that. I am sick and tired of <coughs> people pretending to be friends, people pretending. Yes, I'm making myself deliberately sick, but I don't give a fuck. Because <coughs> at the end of the day, it's not that sad that's making me sick. Or what I took before. Or all day today. It's you, my partner, making me sick. It's my fucking friends treating me like shit that makes me sick. You know, I come on YouTube and I fucking pour my heart out. I fucking sing. I fucking do poetry. For what? A selfish bitch that sits behind the computer going, Hmm, oh, he doesn't look well. Of course I don't look well. You're fucking destroying my life. You friends and my partner are destroying my fucking life. All I've asked for fucking six fucking months. You want this shit sorted out. You want this, you know, to be over and done with. Just fucking see me. It's that fucking simple. I don't know how stupid a girl is. You know, if you don't want to be with a guy, you fucking end it. And the fact that my partner can't even show me the respect of six years. I mean, fuck. In the uh, vid that you'll see, um, by the way, when the vid's coming to an end, you'll see all these vids pop up on each corner. You'll see the last three vids. One, you know, I told it like it is and how I felt. The other one, which might be in, probably in that corner, you'll see when it comes up. You'll see the wedding ring. You'll see other vids from um, the previous six months. And if you go in and definitely click on the vids after this, and you'll see what I'm going through. And you tell me that my partner should be watching these vids, because she should be. The most important ones will always be in the corners. So like, welcome to my life, confessions of a broken heart. Um, <coughs> This uncensored and untold story. We need to tell you a story. Whew. It hasn't always been smooth sailings in my relationship. Um, my partner would always hate it if I talk to a female friend. She'd absolutely go ballistic if I even look at someone. She was a very jealous, nasty bitch when it came to me talking to my female friends. Because in her eyes, she thought that I was all the chatting them up or trying to get down their pants, you know. And like I said to her, what are you fucked in the head? These are my friends that have been there way before you and going to be there long after you have gone. I have no interest in them sexually or anything. Look, if they post a photo, I'll say, hey, looking very pretty in that photo. <clears throat> it's not chatting the fucking girl up. Especially when most of them have boyfriends. And this is what used to start all the arguments. Um, one time I was just, I was not well. I was just having a bit of a bad day. And she wanted to get jiggy with it. She wanted to have sex. And I said, nah, nah, not, not today. And she's like, why? You always want sex. I'm like, nah, just, you know, cool, calm down. You know, I just want to relax. And she says, yeah, but you'd go fuck. And she said my female friend's name. And I was like, how the fuck dare you bring up my fucking friend of 10 plus years and say that you are a fucking bitch for saying that and she's like yeah but you'd fuck her instead of me and I and I, 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 I screamed at my partner said shut the fuck up you have no right number one of bringing my friend involved when she wasn't even part of the conversation I just didn't want to have sex so when my partner said that I was just absolutely disgusted and I'm the one that's always the bad guy and everything this is like I said this is about you know untold stories and untold things I've told you but um actually I might have mentioned it in a, in a vid but just shit like that and you think I'm not doing anything wrong as a partner like <clears throat> yes I like sex fuck off who doesn't but the time and a the place then and there I was just like I'm just not in the mood and if I'm not in the mood I can't give it my full go you know what I'm saying 
But when she said that, that was the most nastiest, selfish fucking thing someone can say to you. Alright? I love my friend, by the way. And at the moment, me and some others are worried about her because um, something's going on in her life. She could be in danger and we don't know. And yes, I care about her, but <clears throat> there's not much I can do. That was one of the untold stories. Another one that's like my partner always thought that, you know, that I was always going to ditch her for another girl. I'd go and cheat on her when I'm, while I'm dating her. Fuck off. It's like, you know, if you don't want to be with someone, you just don't be with them. But I fought so hard for six years. Like, she broke my heart the first time, my fucking partner. Alright? 13 years ago. And what people don't realise back then is, yeah, the age was a bit, you know, she was a bit younger, I was a bit younger. Um, you know, I just came off a, you know, serious relationship with someone and, um, you know, I was my partner's first kiss. And it meant so much to me. Like, I was like, you know, a big part of her life for a couple of months back, you know, in those days. But then when these motherfuckers, her stepfather and mother, interfered back then <clears throat> and made sure we didn't see each other, I was fucking hurt for years. I never told people this because I loved her back then, 13 years ago. All right? So, you know, I'm, I had girlfriends after that. She had, only had, she had one boyfriend after that. And when he cheated on her, it was like, you know, damn, that sucks for her. But then again, she went off and slept with her best friend's boyfriend. And that was disgusting. But that's, you know, she's she's made that mistake. You know, that's, that's you know. <clears throat> you know, I, I can't forgive a girl for that. You know, because she always says, you know, I want to contact my friend, you know. I miss her and all that. I'm like, you fucked her, your best friend's boyfriend. Like, I'm sorry, but, you know, and you are a very nasty person. You always have been. You've got this nastiness in you. And you've got to understand that <clears throat> the reason why you don't have friends is not because you don't choose to have friends. It's your parents that choose your friends and who you can and can't date. That's always been the, the problem. And that is the problem with my partner. Her stepfather, her mother, and her family all just want to like put people in her life. I mean, the guy that she was friends with when we started dating the second time around, he was there just to keep an eye on her. He was there, you know, to make sure that whatever she did could go back to the parents. That's why he was there. And they wanted him to be with her. So when I worked all this out and got rid of him, you know, because he was interested in my partner, they were all angry and upset because I got rid of her only friend. And I'm like, her only friend? That's because unless people listen to you, you don't want her having friends or partner. So that's why for six years, these this family has made my life a living hell. See, my partner was living by herself before all this. And just because I come back in the picture, sister number one has to move in. You know, then if that sister decides to grow up and be a woman and move in with her partner, then sister number two moves in. A big mistake. That sister should never have moved in. <coughs> you know? How can you live your life when fucking people are watching you 24-7? And this goes to my partner. How could you live like that when you don't, you know, <coughs> say, say after me another guy comes along. Unless they approve of him, you're never going to be happy. And the thing is, I fucking love my partner and I'm getting fucking heat for it. I can't mention it here. I can't mention it to my friends. Especially the ones that are watching this on Facebook when this guy's uploaded. You know, obviously they go, oh fuck, there goes the pain again. I'm hooked on painkillers right now. I'm hooked on antidepressants. I'm hooked on fucking anything I can get my hands on. And for what? For my partner to keep destroying me like this for the fucking rest of my life? You think I'm going to back down? I'm not going to back down. Or stop making vids about this until fucking she grows up. You know, maybe this vid will be the one she watches and be like, Fuck, Andre's right. Well, I'm right about a lot of things. And you know I fucking tell it like it is. But there are people, including your family, including the person in your house, including our fucking fake mutual friend. They're all lying to you. And I got nothing to gain. 
I just want you to know the truth. I want you to realize what they've done in the six months. I want you to realize that, you know, the nasty things that are going around that you don't know about. Why do you think they don't want us talking? Because I'm ready to drop the ball. Or so far say the bomb. I just don't understand you. You always used to say, you know, people should act their age. People should grow up. People should don't ask for their parents for help. You're not doing anything of it. <clears throat> You're not doing any of it. I told you before this happened, I said, the sad thing is when we break up, I said this to my partner, I said, you know, you're going to live your life, a boring life, where people control your life, you know, you do the same things, never have freedom, that's your life, me, I, I could get married if I want, find someone, have kids, get another couple of houses, my life will be fine. But I fucking love my partner. And I want what's best for her. Am I a threat to her? Of course not. If I fucking saw her, I'd fucking give her the biggest hug and kiss and say I'm sorry. I'd beg on my knees for forgiveness. You know? I'd fucking pull that wedding ring out of my pants. Like, just flop it right out. And just, you know, boom. Because I know what I want in life. And I will not let anyone stop me from doing it. Whether there's my partner... She listens to people that don't even want her happy. I'm sorry, but you the moment if you have kids and you're putting the emotional blackmail on them or pressure or telling them what they can and can't do, fuck off. That's not that's not loving your kids. <clears throat> I just don't understand why she can't sit down and talk this out. You want to end it, you fucking end it. You don't string somebody along Especially for six months Like I've Fucking Cried myself to sleep I have Popped pills I have gotten so drunk That I've passed out And woke up in a pile of my own vomit You know I just don't Understand What game she's playing So I'm asking For a bit of help I'm asking this to be sorted out Sooner rather than later Because I'm getting sick I'm almost on my deathbed. You know, what What happens when I take that extra tablet one night? What, what happens when I drink the extra drink, you know? What happens if I go behind the wheel and smash it into a tree? You, and my partner will, you know, wake up that next morning. She'll be like, I could have stopped it. <clears throat> I could have saved his life and I didn't. I could have stopped being a fucking bitch to him and stopped listening to my parents. Look at this way, they took away your real father away from you. And I was the one guy that made sure that he'd be part of your life. I did that. And I'm telling you that if you don't want people you love and care about out of your life, stop listening to others. Do what you want to do in life. That goes for anybody on Facebook or my YouTube page. Don't let anyone come in between your relationship. If there's a threat in your relationship, you get rid of it. Because a relationship's between you and your partner. You know, if there's problems, you two can work it out. Don't ask for people's advice. Don't ask for people's thoughts on it. You, as adults, the both of you, have to sort it out yourselves. I mean, there's plenty of domestics. Some are really bad. But you know what they do? They at least do the right thing and break up properly or they work on the problems or they work out what causes these things to happen so I'm looking dead straight in the camera here and saying this I did my time in court and I won now the games have to stop as for my partner she's probably watching this I love you with all my heart I'm sorry you're going through what you're going through but I can't help you when you don't make an effort. You want to end this? End it properly face to face. Because I'm not going to believe it over a text. I'm not going to believe it in a letter. <clears throat> it has to be face to face because a letter or a text can mean that anyone could be sending it. A phone call would mean that um, 
You know, someone could be telling you what to say. But face to face is the proper way. And that's the only way we can ever break up. So to my friends on Facebook and to my partner, I'm still in a committed relationship and I'm still engaged to my beautiful partner of six years. Who's more scared, her of me or me of her? I'm scared of her more than she is of me. I'm no threat. Like, if we met, I'd be crying. Because she's done too much damage to me now. Would it work if we did get back together? Yes, it would. 100%. I know the things I have to do and say. I know the things I have to do more and not do. So, yeah. And like I said, the bald head would probably scare my partner because she's like, what the fuck is he doing with his head? Look, I, I don't have... I don't want to impress anybody. I don't. I... Like, I have my profile pic on Facebook is me and my partner. The cover photo is me and my partner holding hands. The featured photos of me and my par- partner. The last thing I posted. Photos of me and my partner. Because, and I put... In, well, you can't read the relationship status. But it says I'm engaged. And I'm never going to take that down. Because until, like I said, me and my partner go face to face, we don't, we're not broken up. Because we never did. We never uttered those words to each other. It was the police that stopped us from seeing each other. But, look, I know people will probably message my partner. I'm not fucking stupid. They'll probably even send her this vid. If she can watch it for 26 minutes. But, you know, that's insane. She'd have to go watch all the other vids too because... She needs to know what's going on. Do I tell people to do it? Fuck no. I don't. I, I, and if my partner knows me well, I don't ask for fucking help. I don't need fucking help. You know, if I was down on money, I wouldn't even ask my parents for money. Never have. In fact, I'm, all, all, I'm always offering them, hey, can I, you know, give you extra money for rent? Can I give you extra money for bills? Can I give you... I'm always telling them they can borrow money off me. Right now, I could withdraw... If I, well, if I sold my house, I'd have 250000 just there, there and there. You know what I mean? And that's not including what's in my bank right now. I'm not going to brag. But i got a big chunk of change in my bank account right now that it's almost like a down, well, you'd say enough to buy a car with the money i got in my bank. So like, what I was thinking of doing is selling my two cars that I've got. Yeah, I have two fucking cars. Two sports cars, by the way. I would sell them give some money to my parents and whatever I've got left buy a really nice expensive like two door like fucking car like you know what I'm saying <coughs> well the drink's nearly finished you know painkillers do not taste good in that just saying so I just want to say this it's time for people to start And this goes for my partner and my friends. It's time for you guys to fucking grow up. All of you. Alright. Number one. Don't rubbish other people's relationships. Because you have no right to judge other people's relationships. You know the people that do judge your relationships. Not happy with their lives. Not happy with the people they are. And they make excuses. I'm single because guys are scumbags. Guys are pigs or... Uh, I'm single because there's no decent girls out there. Oh, bull fucking shit. Don't lie to yourself. You can't get someone because of your attitude. You can't get someone because of the way you are to other people. Right? And whether it's, you know, Black Lives Matter or All Lives Matter or um, My Bum Hole Smells Like Shit Matters. You know, who gives a fuck? Let the human race be the human race at the end of the day care about everybody don't judge someone for their skin or where they're from fuck grow up people let's try and make this world a better world I mean here we started the world this year with fucking fires where we lived and then the coronavirus hit and then we got these rallies and Black Lives Matter and now it's just you know every day around the world it's getting worse and worse and all we have to do is learn to respect each other and fucking grow up and start acting like adults Right? And to anyone on my Facebook that has a problem with me and my partner, go fuck yourselves. I'm dead set serious. 
you know and if you are a friend of mine on Facebook why don't you fucking make an effort and fucking talk to me it doesn't take five minutes to inbox somebody and like I say at the end of the day we should not judge people for what they do hey I know a bunch of fucking druggies and most of them so I got some friends that are druggies whether they buy sell use I don't judge them in their life if they want to fucking do stupid shit they can do stupid shit as long as they don't put that shit on me I have friends that are gay male and female and I don't have a problem with that you know who they want to be with it's it's their business and I, and I wanted to state that do I give a fuck about politics fuck no like oh do I hate Trump or do I like Trump or fuck Trump or fucking who cares it's not my country you know if he wants to do bad decisions that's his that's his thing but I live in a, a, a state right now where we have no COVID virus we're allowed to go out to nightclubs when they open I think they're opening soon we're allowed to go out to pubs we're allowed to go out places and shops so we don't have to wear masks we don't have to wear gloves it's beautiful and I don't want that to change and I'm sick and tired of these fucking rallies that we have where they a group of people a lot of them get together and they're all in one spot we've done so well as a state to keep this COVID virus like you know I look at other countries around the world and they can't even leave their doorstep in fact the, the state next next to us they're fucked they have hundreds of cases a day now we need to stop the covid virus the, the fucked up thing about america's situation is unfortunately trump's like well you know if, if we close everything in the economy that's you know you gotta respect him for that it's true like if you have everything closed around the world uh, no one can make money the economy goes down and we all basically shit ourselves there so the only thing that I'd be saying if I had to say anything is get a fucking cure for this start pumping a lot of money and fucking ask these Chinese how the fuck they made it because this this virus was made in their fucking lab all right let's not sugarcoat this so what they should do is fucking find out what how they made it and what can be stopped surely with the money that this world's got we can all put some money together and fucking do something about it so this has been uncensored and untold episode one um it's a bit different to confessions of broken heart where i'm pouring my heart out or this is my life where i just talk about the basic stuff this is one that i can get off my chest as me not kid rocker not fucking cross-dressing cowboy or whatever <laughs> this is me i'm andre the kid you want to social me on Facebook? It's Andre Kid. Um, also on uh, Bigo live chat app. Some nights, so add me on there. Um, if you want to ask me anything, you can Facebook me. Um, I don't let the comments stay on this page only because on YouTube that uh, because my uh, partner and her family and friends of the family write horrible stuff on my comment box. I have to have the um, comments disabled on YouTube that's the only way because you know they're fucking assholes um what will be the next episode of uncensored and untold um probably more about this subject about the current situation I mean obviously fucked um other stories obviously for you know rules you cannot use people's names you cannot slander people um that's why it's okay making these vids because I'm not naming anybody and when I say partner, it could mean like my partner I'm with now, it could be another partner. You know, I may even have a partner now behind my partner's back. Well, I don't, but I could. But you know what I'm saying? Like, there's no names. But at the end of the day, if my partner does watch this, she's got to know that I'm fucking still caring about her and loving her. I just, you know, it'd be nice just to end this properly, like, you know, be able to move on with our lives and not be in limbo. And I know people will message her, and I've got no control of that. And I'm sorry if anyone does message you, sweetie. I am deadly sorry. I have no control over people. You know, I've told people not to. Because, you know, I want us to sort this out. It's our relationship, not fucking parents or fucking sisters or brothers or fucking friends. It's our relationship. And, um, 
that's the most important thing at the end of the day. You can't end a relationship unless the two people end it face to face. So I'm going to take some more painkillers. I'm just popping them like lollies right now, like in drinks, in anything, because my stomach is just gone. My head is just gone. I can't turn my brain off. Thanks to my beautiful partner for all this pain and suffering. Thanks, Wendy. Love you for that. But yes, we will do more of these vids. Um, and as my partner would say, they go for fucking too long. And I've said that in many vids, but you know what? At the end of the day, I can go on for whether it's 35 minutes, 40 minutes, an hour, two hours in a vid on here. Because there's so much to talk about. Well, the two hour ones, I guess, is me getting drunk and stupid and killing myself. But, you know, that's a different story. Um, but these videos, doesn't matter how long they go for, people message me on Facebook and go, Fuck, your video touched me. I didn't know you were going for that. You gave me some good advice. Fuck. My YouTube videos in the past have saved relationships, a marriage. That one I'm pretty proud of. I'm, I, I, I did an episode where um, you know, how to have. I think it was like a successful relationship or something. I don't know. It's on here somewhere. And um, the wife messaged me of the, of her her and her partner, and she's like, you know, you made a you know a lot of sense in, in that vid. You made good points about. You know, and like I've said in this vid, you know, a relationship is two people. No one should interfere, correct? You shouldn't always believe what other people tell you because other people will tell you bad stuff to end your relationship. People will tell you bad stuff because they don't want you to be happy. And it's true. It, it is true. Like, for my sake, you know, I have female friends telling me, you know, you can get rid of that fucking fat bitch. You can get rid of that fucking slut. She's fucking ugly. It's horrible when they say that and I get very defensive and I say, don't be nasty to her. You can call me an ugly prick, but don't say anything nasty about my partner. It's those girls that, you know, are the problems when it comes to relationships because they don't want their male friend, you know, being unhappy. So the moment that something does go wrong, they're going to come out full swinging to protect their male mates. Now, I have one really hot goth friend. Shame she's not in this country. But I reckon, like, she would... Her and my missus, whoa, that would be a fight that I would pay to see. Um, who do I think would win? I think my goth friend would. I think she'd mop the floor with my missus. And it's not like, I don't believe in fighting, just to clear that up. But it's the fact that my goth friend, you know, she pointed it straight out. She goes, look, Andre, this woman's a fucking horrible bitch. She's fucking ugly, Andre. She's a fat fucking nasty bitch. She fucking doesn't care about you. Or she would have done something by now. And you have a right to go on and find someone better. I've said to my female friend, when she said all this, by the way, I've stuck up for my partner and said, look, I know you're my friend and I know you care about me. And no, it's not right what my partner's doing. And a lot of my female friends are just so angry with my partner because, you know, if you want to break up with someone, you just break up with someone. You don't fucking drag it on. And when I talk to them, I'm like, you know, you can't always blame my partner because we don't know the situation. We don't know why. Fuck, I don't even know why sometimes. There's obviously a reason why she's doing what she's doing, whether it's to protect me, whether she's getting blackmailed by her family or parents, whether they've got something on her. I don't know. But... I know for a fact that my partner's got a good heart in there somewhere. Somewhere. I mean, she's been showing it for six years. But we all have our dark sides to us where I have a massive pimple on my back. And I'm just, so I'm like touching my back right now. I'm taking these tablets to actually get rid of my pimples. They don't fucking work. I'm telling you, it's fucking. Even some nights I take two because I fucking want to speed it up, but. Because on my back, I've got like all these, um, it's called um, something acne, pimple acne or something. And it like, it, like they're that big, some of those pimples. And they just keep growing, growing all over my back. And um, apparently the doctor was saying, um, you know, some people have it all over their face. And you think, fuck, man, that's bad. I think my um, partner's sister had it one time. Um, 
and she's only like 15, 16, and she had like her whole face was red, like from all the acne and stuff. And they were giving her like medication and stuff. And you know, I feel so bad for my um, you know, my my partner sister. Like she's so like she's so nice. She's she's gonna make something of herself. That girl one day, and I can see it. Like she's highly educated. She's got book smart. She's very like she hard working and I know that if anyone's going to be successful in that family it's that girl and you know when I saw with the acne and, and the braces I'm like you know so many people would probably ridicule her at school for that you know not just the braces because I had braces and I'm actually looking at a photo of me in braces now you know you want to see it I'll go show you, I'll go show you. um this was from like 90, 98 um yeah yeah, sure. See, that was a cute looking kid, though. Hey, seriously, I, I, I got me. I, I did. Uh... See, I had braces back then, and um, you know, people would call you like metal mouth and all that. So I can understand like my partner, sister, you know, always concerned about her looks. Um, but when you see the acne, it's so like you look at her and go, oh, you feel bad, like. Your heart really goes out to the girl because you know for a young girl like their looks are everything braces are one thing but when you've got acne it's so bad and growing up like i had a lot of acne um not as bad as what my partner sister had but um you know pimples would go around the nose um cheeks the mouth there and i fucking hate it unfortunately acne is one of those things but now like my face is not bad now like i get somewhere around the nose and stuff but on my back I, it's just so bad and after something that happened to me a few nights ago that I won't talk about on here uh, my back is not just got pimples on it now it's got fucking big claw marks on it thanks um, so hopefully those go away in a few days um, but yeah we shouldn't um, ever judge people for like I said the way they look the color of their skin gay trans bisexual you know, everyone's different in this world and we've got to be more open to respecting people. So what if a guy wants to dress up and live his life as a woman? He's born a man, but he feels like he's a woman. He lives his life like a woman. And his gender, he calls himself a woman. That's fine. If he wants to do that, that's all well and good. You know, if a man wants to marry a man or a woman wants to marry a woman, that's their business. Who do we to judge? At the end of the day, if they want to make themselves happy then that's all that matters. We all have a right to be happy. And you know what? I'm looking dead in this camera and I say this at 2.30 at night, July the 6th? Yeah. I'm happy with my partner. Oh, we have, we've had problems in six years, of course. This fights, of course. And she's given me a fucking, some fucking, sh tell you what, some of the things my missus has done to me. Oh, oh. Like I said, on my phone, I have a photo still of my, my fucking ear. is all just like ripped, like blood dripping down my ear. And my actually female friend said, oh, I didn't know your partner did that. And I'm like, yeah, well, there's a lot of things you don't know. Like people don't think that, uh, you know, there's two sides to every story. But yeah, there is. You know, has my partner been faithful in this time, me and her, since we've been together? Of course. Have I? Of course. But what about in these six months? Would I say my partner has been faithful in this time? No. I know I said, you know, don't listen to what others say, but unfortunately when it comes from like, you know, the mutual friend and maybe one of her sisters, it's hard not to believe that she's off with another guy and has a relationship now. It's hard not to believe that she's hooked up with at least one person. Now my partner's always been a sort of person that she only hooks up when she's in a relationship. Though she's only been in really like two relationships her whole life. Me, the first guy, and the third guy was me. So you'd have to say, you know, why would suddenly, you know, things change now? Because I don't think she's the woman I fell in love with, if I'm being honest. I think that this time has uh, been a way for her to let loose, get drunk, stupid, hook up with randoms. Um... Whoever her parents have put into her life recently, they're probably forcing it down her throat to go see them or for them to go pick her up. You know, it's just, 
I'm not stupid. So I'm going to end this vid. Thank you for watching. Um, yeah, we'll make, well, should we make an hour vid? We'll make an hour vid. All right. Just give me a sec because uh, I need to fill up. As you can see, look how disgusting that looks. That's enough to make you sick, actually, technically. Mixed with Skittles and tablets and shit, it probably would make me sick. Oh, well. I'm trying to get the Panadol down. I'm literally chewing on Panadol. And it's so fucking gross too. Give me a sec, I'll get it down. <sighs> oh yeah. I got a geographical tongue. What that means I gotta split my tongue. Okay. Yeah, I know it's weird, eh? At the moment, we're just using the um, the blue snow glow, snow snow blue mic. I love this mic. It makes me sound sexy. It actually doesn't, but anyway, um, I'll just leave it up there for now. Um, let's have a look at what's going on. You know when you're like you're typing your phone number and your fuck your pin number in. Oh, my girlfriend's on the screen. When it. I don't want people seeing that. Shit. <laughs> um, just, yeah, lean back. It's supposed to be fucking Harley Quinn, but you know. My Harley Quinn. <laughs> My Harley Quinn. So, another thing I want to say is this. Um, people want to know what my thoughts of my partner's family are. <clears throat> and he goes straight out. The, the, the person she lives with is fucking horrible to her. She's a fucking nasty bitch. And my partner would agree with me saying that. And I don't think it's right that my partner should be babysitted by anyone. Like, no one should be like... God damn, I fucking lost. <laughs> I hate losing. Um, I, I say this with due respect. My partner will never be able to grow up with any of those family around her. Those people don't want her happy they want to be able to control her life and be able to see everything she does and I don't like that you know the moment you turn 18 or 21 in some countries you're an adult and you have to act like an adult so until she you know realises that they're just going to always control her life and I don't like that I love my partner with all my heart but I'm sorry, you treat my partner like, you know, she's handicapped when she's not. They treat my partner like she's a handicapped kid that's 15 years old. They think that she's not good enough to do this, not good enough to do that. And I fucking hate it. I fucking hate the way that family, you know, you, you got to look at, is there any positives? Is there any good people in her life? Her aunties. Her auntie is a lovely lady. Um, I think her auntie, I, I got respect for her auntie. She's a good person. Um, the younger sister I was talking about before, got so much respect for her. That kid's going to be amazing. Like, that kid's going to, like, I reckon that kid could be a doctor, a nurse. Like, it's going to have so much good education. Um, so... The rest of the ones that live here in Adelaide, I don't like them. There's no male in her family that I respect that lives here. They're all they're all trouble. Um, the only decent person that I truly respect from the bottom of my heart is her real father. Her real father and his family that live, you know, in Sydney, fucking amazing people. They're fucking amazing, and I have so much respect. And I wish my partner was more close to them because they've got class, they've got dignity, they've got such a beautiful 
family up there. Like, I'm so happy that I got my partner, you know, acquainted with them. I'm, I got so much respect for them. That's the only good in that family. You know, there's good and bad in every family. Yes, I do understand that. But when you start, whether it's infidelity in a relationship, as I talked about before on this vid, whether it's not being able to let your kids be able to, you know, control their life as adults, you've lost respect for me. And then they want to make my life a living hell. That's not fair on me. I don't know why they want to keep making my life a living hell. And they will, whether I go back to her or not, because they want to see me unhappy. So they're going to keep putting guys in her life, guys in her life to try to get me out of the picture. They want to do what they did to her real father to me. And her family will probably watch this vid. Hi. How you doing? Fuck you. Let's not sugarcoat it. You fucking don't like me. You, you never wanted me and my partner to be happy. You never want her to be happy in general. This is not uh, slander because it's not naming anybody. I can't get in trouble about this because it's not breaking any rules. Even though you'd want me to get in trouble with the law because you always wanted this to drag on and drag on and I know you guys do. But the fact that you don't let a 30-year-old woman grow up and make her own life for herself. Let her be independent. Let her make her the decision she wants to make in life. I'm sorry, but that's, um... That's not right. And, you know... When you have a kid, they have to make the decisions on their own. But what are you doing? You're telling... Your kid stuff that it's not even true. You're making them feel bad about the people they date. No relationship's perfect. Not even my partner's parents. But at least I admit there was problems in mine. And we could fix them together. What's their excuse? I'm 35 years old. And for a kid my age, I'm not a kid, but for a guy my age, I'm doing better than most people that are older than me. I own my own house, fully paid for now. I have a good income. I have a good net worth. You know, I have skills. Sorry, I'm just, this pimple's bothering me. I have two cars. Fuck yeah, I'm, I'm just realising I'm paying two insurances here. Fucking shit. <laughs> Didn't think, think that far. But I'm doing well for myself. I'd say the fact that this room's going to be the next one they renovate in this house. So, but like I said, the wall behind me goes. Um, all the holes going to be filled up in here. Um, when that wall goes definitely getting a fridge everyone's always said to me you've got everything in your room you've got ps3 ps4 xbox one xbox 360 where's the fridge andre it's coming <laughs> i even talked about it because i was like um once that wall goes there's like so much room that's going to be here and um you know like looking at the tv and the surround sound and you got the computer here um mic I surround sound on the computer as well. I've got everything. But I don't have the beautiful princess next to me. Um, and that's what I want. I deserve to have a partner. So if you're watching. Well thank you for watching it for an hour. But you've just got to realise that. Whether it's my friends watching this. I need both my friends and my partner to help me now. So please do. You owe me that as friends and as my partner, you owe me that too. Because I think I've done my punishment of crime for six months. You know, there are a lot of things that people don't know about right now. 
especially an incident that happened uh, a few days ago, which I am um, too scared to talk about even on here. But I'm still brave enough to stand and, and talk about it at least. But if you're a friend, you'd actually like reach out and go, what, what's happened, Andre? You okay? No, I'm not okay. And if my partner is watching, I'm not okay. Because I had something bad happen to me a few nights ago. And I think that um, my partner knew, number one, she'd be fucking here in a heartbeat and saying, who the fuck did that? My friends would be like, we didn't know. Well, of course you don't know. Whether it's my partner, whether it's my friends. Of course you don't know. You don't fucking reach out and care. My partner hasn't even fucking reached out and cared for six months. When I've come on here and poured my fucking heart and soul into these videos. Singing. Crying. Poetry. You know. My friends said it best. It's not fair, Andre, that you come out. And you pour your heart and soul and show your feelings for the person you love and care about. But your fucking partner can't even do that. And you stick by her when she's killing you. Well, of course I stick fucking by her while she kills me. Because I love this person and I fucking will die for them. End of story. End of story. See, I haven't been on Facebook for 24 hours for a reason. Because I've wondered... You know, who's going to contact me? Who's going to care? No one did. One fucking person did. That's my life right now, sweetie. You know, I didn't see my parents all day today. And they were worried that um, you might have said something or I might have heard news from you. Then they started thinking that I was going to go do something stupid tonight or have the cops here. That's only been in my room for one day. But it's been happening for six months. Every single day. I felt like this. Court's over. You know, my partner said from day one, once court's over and everything's sorted out, which it is, she would at least come and talk to me. She still hasn't. Though it has been a few days, so we've got to give it that, I suppose. Someone said, is there a timeline on how much time you'll give her? No, because I'm a fucking idiot. My partner probably thinks I'm a fucking idiot. My friends think I'm a fucking idiot, but there's no timeline. She'll probably fucking, you know, have a boyfriend now. She probably already has a boyfriend now, and she'll fucking cheat on him. And you know what the thing is? If she did have a boyfriend in this time, she's technically still cheating on him because she technically hasn't broken up with me. So if she doesn't call herself a cheater, well, she better um maybe start doing something soon because you're still in a committed relationship with me, like it or not. Just saying. And I had to and I have to say that in the vid. And to anyone that wants to be a fucking asshole and say, You're not in a relationship, Andre, she's not with you, she hasn't made an effort to I'm gonna say this. Go fuck yourself, number one. Because it's never over until both parties say it's over. And that was the promise me and my partner made. Unless we're face to face and we hear it from each other, we're always going to be together. So if you're watching, I'm taking that for a grain of salt what it's worth. Thank you for watching this vid. I've got a lot off my chest. Uh, I think I've done one of these once before onto something else. Not Kid Rocker, but some, some sort of similar to it. So, so the, the, the episode is called... Um, uh, untold and uncensored. Well, should it be uncensored and untold or untold and uncensored? I don't fucking know. It'll be. I think it's uncensored and untold. Um. Yeah. No. No. No fancy intros for this because it's too much fucking work. I just want to like make the vid and just upload it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't want to go for a movie maker and fucking do like fancy effects and shit. That shit takes a long time, by the way. And then I have to go through all the audio stuff and make sure that I haven't said anything and um. It's a fucking pain in the ass, that's for sure. Like some vids, like, I have to go back and go, oh fuck, I hope I didn't say somebody's name. I hope I didn't fucking do this. Um, and like I said, with, with the uh, 
other stuff, yeah. So don't forget to check out the vids in your left and right top hand and um, top corners, bottom corners. You'll see four vids pop up. And yeah, click on them and see what's happened before these vids. Have a good night.